as the rain beat against the window of the little bakery in South Minneapolis, I found myself drawn to the scent of freshly baked croissants. I ordered a few and paired them with a steaming cup of coffee, hoping to drown out the eerie silence that hung over the city. Looking out the window, I saw the people scurrying along the wet sidewalks, like ants fleeing a long, forgotten terror. The cold, damp weather seemed to seep into my bones. It was early spring, and the city was awakening from a long, dark slumber. As I ate, I couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister lurked just beyond the veil of rain and mist. Memories flooded my mind, but even they could not provide solace from the looming dread that gripped me. For I was here now, investigating a series of murders that defied reason and logic.